In this video, I'm gonna talk about temperature, dew point, and relative humidity. So when you're applying a coating to a surface, you need to make sure that that surface is clean and it's dry. And when we say dry, not only wet from rain, from water, from whatever was in the vessel, but there needs to be no condensation on that surface. And you need to make sure that your surface temperature is far enough away from the dew point so that condensation doesn't form on the surface. And the way you do that is you get a thermohydrometer, which measures your relative humidity, your temperature, and then when you hold the TD button down, you'll see the lower number changes, and that's your dew point temperature. So today, according to my, my instrument, it is about 83 degrees outside, 36% relative humidity, and the dew point temperature is 54, 55 degrees. I pulled this bottle of water out of the refrigerator. The bottle of water is 41 degrees. Well, you can see that. And what do you see on the surface of that bottle? Anybody in the audience want to speak up? <laughs> condensation. Mm -hmm. The audience is shy. So there's condensation on the outside of the bottle because the surface of the bottle is below the dew point temperature. So you want to make sure that your surface is at least five degrees above the dew point. It's got to be far enough away from that dew point so that you don't risk um, condensation forming on the surface as you're applying your coating system. You can take a surface temperature reading with an infrared gun or a surface contact thermometer. The infrared guns are real easy. You just point them, pull the trigger, and it'll give you a readout. You do want to look at the side of the gun. They'll typically tell you how far away to stay from the surface and how big of a surface area you're reading. But generally, something like 8 to 12 inches from the surface is where you should be when you take a temperature reading.